We are about opportunity where students can actually realize their potential. I believe you can put expectations, very, very high expectations, but you have to have the correct supports for students in order for them to reach that. We do that for our students. you're in a different type of learning environment. It's not a normal type of school, and so you feel that immediately whenever you walk in. Uh, this is a, a very high-level culture of learning, collaboration, uh, exhibiting opportunity of what kids can achieve. And so when you walk in, you know, you immediately understand the culture that's going on here because it's just all around you. Our campus is, it's about exhibiting opportunity for students and so it's not only about making it accessible for students to all students regardless of background or money or what high school you go to, but that exhibiting opportunity is prevalent throughout. That's from the transparency from the glass that's in Main Street where you can walk down Main Street and you can see those, those students, they're being showcased all the time. The teachers and their craft are being showcased all the time. There was this simple idea that you can go from one end of the building to the other end of the building through one hallway, so to speak, Main Street, and see every single, every one of the 18 academies. My favorite thing about the center is the students' wow factor and the students' uh, excitement uh, about the spaces. In the beginning, we would tell them, oh, this is a project designed just for you. What do you think? They never thought about adults would put something together just for them. You could actually see them drop their jaw and say, oh my goodness, when they walk, I, I kid you not, you could read that on their lips as they walked in. The student buy-in is right off the bat because of the spaces in the building. My wife teaches two students that go here. And every day they come in to their private lesson and, and just go on and on about how wonderful it is and how excited they are to be able to come here. Be OK helped us with design charrettes. We invited members of the community, we invited business people, we had university professors, and we had students. We needed the industry reality mixed in with parents and students, what they would like, and try to blend the two together to create a dynamic space. The charrette process was excellent to help pull out of people their best thinking, and then take the group think to a focused vision. This building probably had the purest development from initial concept to completion of keeping that focal point of that building. And I think that speaks to how strong that initial process was. You know, given the, the importance of this building and all the stuff we've been talking about with the community, it was very important to give the identity of this building something special. So it was a very concerted effort to brand the building. The branding starts from the street. Our digital marquee actually has this very, very prominent red mark it's on our signage outside, and when you look at the front of the building, that is the prominent symbol that you will see. It was designed as part of the architectural feature of the building. It's red metal panels, and it is, it is very distinctive that when people see that, they recognize that and make the association with our Career Tech Center and what we stand for. When they leave this school and they carry a diploma mm -hmm. from Arlington, that brand is going to be recognized. You know, it, it, it is going to be symbolic. As, as time goes on. We are the gap for them, the bridge that says, okay, I've graduated, but I know where I'm going and I know how I'm gonna get there. I've got the skills that I need to be able to go land that first job. That's what exhibiting opportunity is all about. We're showing students, we're showing parents, the community, that these opportunities that we are exhibiting are to help them land that job and be ready to go into the workforce when they're 18. This one, just from the get-go, it all aligned. You know, you can you can design something, you can do architecture, but it's up to the users that have it the building. 
They give the building the life, otherwise it's just a bunch of steel and glass. As an educator, when your students leave you, you don't really know what it is they're going to become. But here, students are getting to choose what they want to be a part of, and so it makes me hopeful for the next generation, um, even outside of Arlington ISD, because of the opportunity yeah. that's here. Mm -hmm. What I hope, what I really, really hope is that when students come here and they leave, they understand what an investment the community made in them as a person. I mean, for a building like this to be where it's located, there's no ceiling, you know, there's, there's no end to what can be accomplished. My hopes for students is I want them to have a job, a good job, before they ever leave, leave high school. And if we can break one cycle for a family that is in poverty, all it takes is one cycle to, to change a whole dynamic for future generations and past generations of that family. You know, we have a little boy that's here. He has a three-year-old little girl and he's 18 and he's raising her. He's in four of our classes. When he finishes, he'll be able to go to work. That's what it's about.